Hello again. Today we are going to be crocheting a bag or tote. I don't know. Before we begin, I want to say thank you to my 20 subscribers and I love you guys like you're my family already. Okay, let's go. As usual, we are going to be using the cheapest yarn we can find and a hook to match. So we're going to start with our slip knot as crocheters usually do. And then we're going to chain, I think I'm going to chain about 25 to 30. And then we'll get back to ya. Okay, so I changed 30, and this is going to be like the base of our bag. So we're going to make like a large rectangle, and then we're going to fold it in half when we're done. And that's what our pocket of our bag is going to look like. Okay. So the next row, we are just going to double crochet all along. If you don't know how to double crochet, then watch my last video, you guys. We learned it together. So wrap around, poke it through, pull through one, pull through two. And then pull through all of them. Remember the three, two, one method? I hope you guys watched that last video if you don't know how. Then go watch it. Because it goes three, two, and one on the stick. Okay? So we're going to double crochet all of our chain stitches. And then see what we're looking like. So I'm at the end of my row. Which looks fantastic, by the way. So as crocheters do, I'm going to chain one and then flip my work, and then we are going to work double crochets in all the, all the stitches. And we are going to do that for however many rows you want the length of your bag to be when we fold it in half, okay? I will put in the top right how many rows I did so you can see. Good luck, persevere, don't give up, even though it's frustrating sometimes. And I love you guys, and subscribe, okay. I'll see you in a second. Look at how beautiful our work is. Okay, once you have your desired length, fold it in half, and then, oh, I hate to say it, but we are gonna start slip stitching the sides together. So our game plan for this part is to slip stitch this side all the way down, of course, so we can start to make our pocket. Remember when we slip stitch, we shove our hook through each side lining up the stitches on each side and just pull the yarn through. It, it really isn't too big of a deal, guys, even if you mess up slip stitching, because we're going to flip it inside out, so it will hide a lot of mistakes. So just try your best. Just try your best. Shove the yarn through the front and the back side and just pull it all the way through. Shove it through, pull it all the way through. Try to line up the stitches so it's pretty even at the end. And I will get back to you when we're there. Go all the way down this side. Do not cut the yarn, though. See you soon. Okay, so we should have our slip stitch this side all the way together so they're connected. We're at the end. Now what do we do? It's already closed. Guys, I'm a little lazy, must I say. So I kind of just slip stitch along this end. And... You don't have to do this part. You could cut the yarn and then go to the other side. But I like to just kind of weave the yarn through till I get to the other side. I hope that makes sense. I don't think it will. But remember, we're going to flip the work inside out. So you won't even like notice. I don't think. I hope not. Okay, just try your best. And, and then I'll see you when you get to the other side. So I made it to the end of our bottom here. And now, just like our first part, we are going to slip stitch these sides together. I know, slip stitching, I think, is one of my least favorite things to do. But, I mean, it's necessary, right? And sometimes you got to do things that you don't really want to do. Because it's very rewarding in the end, you know? All the hard work pays off. So, just keep going. If you made it this far, good for you already. And I will see you in a second. Oh my gosh, was that brutal. But we made it. We have slip stitched all along. We're ready to make our straps. For my strap, I'm going to chain 70. You can chain as much as you want to your desired length, okay? But I'm going to chain 70. So don't cut anything. Don't do anything. Just start chaining from here however many you want. And I'll see you soon. Okay, I actually chained 75, but that's fine. 
Once you have your desired chain length, go to the other side of your bag, purse, whatever you want to call it, and we're just going to slip stitch it in. Guys, it's okay if it's not perfectly centered. It, I, I mean, it'll be all right. Just try your best. And then once you slip stitch it in, so we are going to chain the same amount that you just chained on this side. So mine will be 75. And I'll see you in a sec. Good luck. So I just finished my second chain of 75. So I'm going to slip stitch it to the other side next to my last one that I did. So maybe like around here. I don't know. You guys, it's whatever you feel is right. That's why I love crochet. I'm going to slip stitch it. I might give it like an extra slip stitch just to be a little more secure. And that's it. That is the end of our purse. So I'm going to grab my scissors. Cut it. Take it. Pull it through. And we can flip this baby inside out and see how we're looking. Oh, I'm so excited. Ah. <gasps> Look at that. That is gorgeous. That is just beautiful. Now, as always, you can weave the ends in. It's usually suggested. And then we have ourselves a little bag, guys. That's great. And look at how cute that is. Come on. You can't tell me that is not adorable. Look, you can even keep your crochet stuff in it. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope that made sense. If it didn't, I don't know, go somewhere else. And make sure you subscribe if you like the channel. And I love my 20 subscribers. I love you guys. I love you guys. And if I don't see you ever again, good luck in life.